At the moment, I'm a full-time business analyst and I also make videos for YouTube as a finance content creator. So the three digital skills that I'm going to share with you today can definitely be started as a side hustle. Let's begin with skill number one, learn how to edit videos. A research at 3M Corporation concluded that humans process visuals 60,000 times faster than text, which is why all of us love watching videos, just like what you're doing here right now. And to put this into perspective, an average of 694,000 hours of video are being streamed by users on YouTube every single minute as we speak. And this is even higher than the 452,000 hours per minute on Netflix. And over on the much shorter vertical video side, TikTok has over 1 billion monthly active users as of July 2022. And research shows that the average user opens a TikTok app 19 times per day. What does all of this mean to you, right? Well increase demand for people with video editing skills. If you're new to video editing, I understand why it sounds daunting, but the good news is it's more affordable and simpler than ever to produce videos. Today, you can shoot in high quality 4K videos even with your smartphone. Plus, there are over a thousand video editing tutorials by actual video editors themselves on YouTube, which you can learn all of it for free. Plus, you can also get free stock footages from websites like Paxels to complement your video. It's all just within a Google search away. Once you have decided on what kind of videos you want to make, pick a software to learn. You have a plethora of them ranging from Final Cut Pro, which is what I used on my Mac to edit this video, Adobe Premiere Pro if you are a Windows user, and also DaVinci Resolve, which can be used by both Mac and also Windows user. Most of their licenses are not cheap, but I heard that you can get them for a cheaper rate in Shopee. I heard lah, I mean, not I say one ah, not I say one ah. I heard lah, you're welcome. And as you go, you will pick up on things like how to create a flow, scene transitions, effects, and other editing elements to improve your storytelling. You will also start familiarizing yourself with keyboard shortcuts to make your workflow more efficient and learn handy tricks like jump cards, J card, L card, etc. But don't overwhelm yourself. Just learn how to piece different scenes together with a simple jump cut, slap on a music track, and uh, you're mostly good to go. Okay. What's next? Getting paid, of course. The typical advice would be to list your service on hiring platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. But in my opinion, it's a very crowded space there right now. So another avenue you can consider is Facebook groups or even tapping on your own network through LinkedIn, Discord channels, or forums like Reddit or Laureate Forum. Or you can even be proactive about it and start cold calling by sending your work to some of your favorite brands and see if they are open to engaging your services just to get the ball rolling and build your portfolio. And even if it's for free, trust me, people do care about your past work and past clients when it comes to creative skills. And as time goes on when you have a better grasp of the skill, you can then start thinking of monetizing it by charging by the hour or by project. I would start with around 300 ringgit for a 10 minute video and if it's 4 videos per month, I can easily start earning about 1.2k ringgit per month. The second but not any less important digital skill to learn is social media marketing. Gone are the days where social media was just a platform for individuals like us to share live updates or post cat videos. It has now transformed into a powerful avenue to grow our online presence and for companies, big or small, to stay connected with their customers. In fact, there are over 4.59 billion active social media users worldwide in 2022, a 7.8% increase from the year before. A social media post typically contains a photo or video with a caption, which will then be shared on your chosen social media platform, be it Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Over time, the more valuable content you post out, the more audience you will reach because people are naturally attracted to value-adding content, just like what you're here right now. And the best of all, this process is free and only takes up your time, nothing else. But yet, I'm not a creative person, I can't write nor can I design. Well, not anymore with the online tools we have today. There are a plethora of tools like Copy AI or the very recently viral ChatGPT that can help you turn your thoughts into full-blown text. And this is actually a real-world application that businesses are already implementing to improve their operations. So guess what? There will be more demand for someone that knows how to operate them in the future. 
As for designing, just go with Canva. They have a ton of free ready-to-use templates for IG stories, Facebook posts, TikTok videos, you name it. And the best part is, no design skills are needed, yet you can look more professional and consistent by using the same design elements. And through these tools, you can now easily create content, be it for your own personal profile or a business. And that's exactly what I did back then to earn some extra money. It's that simple. Just through Canva and maybe Adobe Photoshop and I managed to get paid 5 US dollars per hour to do them. And if you times that by 3 hours a day, that's about 1.8k ringgit per month, which is technically more than the minimum wage in Malaysia already for a part time. Not bad for a start, right? Not bad. Quick pause, if you're enjoying this video so far, you can support this channel for absolutely free by checking out Interactive Brokers in a pinned comment down below. Start trading with the most reputable and well-regulated broker that allows you to trade fractional shares in the US for which many other brokers don't offer. And the best of all, their fee package is easily one of the cheapest among all other stock brokers. Thank you so much. Okay, back to the video. On to the third skill, which is a rather unique one, managing digital advertising campaigns. And yes, this skill can be learned by anyone from any background. Let me explain why. Back in 2012, the organic reach for a Facebook page would hover around 16%. This means that at least 16% of the people following your page will be able to see all of your posts on their feed. But today, the average organic reach has dropped to 8.6% and for pages with more than 500k likes, organic reach can be as low as 2%. Long story short, the more people there are, the more choices of content out there. So there simply isn't enough room for all content to be shown to everyone because we only got so much time in a day, right? And your phone can only show you that much. So it's in YouTube or Instagram's interest to only show you the best content whenever you surf their platform. And for the rest of them, probably the bots will consume them. Another reason why this skill is in demand is because social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram make money from advertising. Well, if so, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. So naturally, they want to incentivize more brands and individuals to pay for higher level of reach. And if you think about it, if you could reliably reach half of your audience for free with organic posts, then these platforms wouldn't make any money, right? And in my opinion, if you want to reach a wider audience in a short time, running some paid ads is affordable yet incredibly effective. Today, 74% of consumers rely on social networks to help with their purchasing decision. Pretty sure this applies to you too, as you might also read up on some reviews on blogs to decide whether you should purchase the item you want. And to get started in learning how to manage digital ads, you can always check out some of the tutorials here on YouTube. There are a ton of them that cover the fundamentals of Facebook ads and also Google ads for total beginners. And once you are ready to run some ads, do take note that you will need to chip in some monies to do it, but you can start from as low as even 10 ringgit. If you ask me, personally, I would recommend you to start with Facebook ads. It's much more simpler for beginners and not as complex as Google ads because all you need is to select the post you want to boost, punch in your targeting options like location, demographics, languages, etc. And that's it. You are good to go. Your ads is ready to run. And yes, you might need some time to nail on the right ad to start seeing some positive ROI because you will always have to tweak your ad messaging and graphics all to lower your cost per click CPC and cost per acquisition CPA because the lesser you spend, the more you profit, right? It's all about testing and experimenting, especially in your early days in managing digital ad campaigns. But trust me, this is a skill that you wouldn't want to miss out in the digital era. So there you go, guys. Those are my recommendations for some of the must-have digital skills to multiply your net worth that you could start with $0 to eventually making $100 a day and possibly even more. Whether you're just looking to boost your side income as a freelancer or if you are trying to help a business grow or if you want to start to build your own personal brand, these three skills can be applied pretty much anywhere. And my last key takeaway for you is always give value before you ask. All of this will definitely take time, but as long as you are consistent and improve your craft as you go, you can make a pretty decent side income from it. And if you'd like to understand more about my content creation flow, from video editing to creating posts for social media and managing ads, let me know in the comments below and I might just make one if I get enough requests for it. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, I'll see you in the next one.